a mailbag, an unboxing, who cares? It's the content we are all interested in. And this is a newer offering from Andon Star. And it's of course one of their digital microscopes. And this should be the, well, it doesn't say on the box for some reason. So I'll open it. I didn't expect such a big box, but hey. So yeah, nicely packed, uh, manual, who needs a manual? And yeah, this is the 8407, so 7 for 7 inch display. Uh, yeah, and uh, their previous offerings had all 6 inch displays. So let's see what we got here. Ah, okay. That's. The actual, oh, <clears throat> okay, the LCD, yeah, we have to take that apart. I wonder if that will work out of the box. Uh, 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 okay, uh, let's put that aside. So yeah, seven inch, quite sizable display. Um, but it's broken. Uh, what a disappointment. Uh, remote control for everything. Yeah, it comes without batteries. Uh, triple, two triple A's, okay. Um, a USB power supply. Um, it uh, some monitor cable. Uh, I don't need that right now. Um, some other uh, USB power supply and stuff. I think that's for the LED lighting, which should be included. Okay, the stand for the microscope, or part of it, but yeah, not really a boom, but yeah, yeah, kind of a boom. And the uh, interesting thing is here, you can now, well, if you can unlock that somehow, uh, yeah, you need tools for that, uh, you can change the angle of the dangle. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is only spacer and yeah the base plate with some LED lighting. Huh. Feels okay. I don't know how long these thingies here are. Uh, yeah, and single LED lights, how long these will survive. So, yeah, let's try to assemble that stuff. Yeah, and I forgot, <laughs> or oh, <laughs> I didn't see it, but there were actually screws and uh, an Allen key here. So, no worries. Come on. Ah, finally. Okay, so I guess the stand will go here. And ah, I have to change the angle a bit. Okay, so that's not that hard. So just two screws to the back. If I can find the hole, yep.
it's actually, you know, for the price, and we will have a list at the Banggood listing at the end of the video, it's not that bad. I mean, it's no M-scope, and uh, yeah, there are a lot of people who will tell you you need at least something like an M-scope to do s and work and uh, stuff, but the thing is, an um, M-scope will set you back, uh, well, if you want uh, a trinocular, uh, will set you back, I don't know. Okay. I won't adjust that right now, but we'll put that in and yeah, there is a UV filter, if I'm right, is on top of it, which is quite nice when you're actually soldering. So this goes in here. Mm, yeah, I don't like it, but uh, yeah, I want more distance down here. The other endon scopes, uh, they work up to 200 millimeters, which gives you a lot of space, uh, yeah, to work down here. This one, I guess you could, without any trouble, Get it up here and then fix it, but eh, well, let's see. Okay, uh, now comes the cable stuff and I will have to change angle again. Um, yeah, I guess there should be some USB input here on the back. There we go. Okay, at least that's that's okay. And there's a space for micro SD card. Uh, really, micro SD card, not SD card. I don't have a micro SD card, I will have to buy one. If that thing is working at all, remember the LCD hangs a little bit loose uh, in the case. Okay, uh, down here, uh, micro barrel jack, yeah, two point or three point millimeters, no, not 3.5, that's two point something millimeters. Okay, the remote for the light. Uh, yeah, I have troubles getting that into the shot. I will get the other lens out in a second. But before that, let's put the USB power supply to some use and uh, I will plug that in right now. Ah, ooh, okay. The LCD is only loose. That's a good thing. And all we can see there is black. Uh, let me get something, uh, yeah, to put down there. Yeah, I decided to, uh, l yeah, not to change the lens. I mean, uh, down there, nothing much is happening. Um, and so you have a much better view of the screen. And uh, yeah, it, it's working, it's working. Uh, that's very nice and yeah, if I move that, yeah, it's okay. This is not a review, uh, it's an unboxing and you can actually, uh, with a remote here, switch, oh, oops, switch the whole unit on and off. Yeah, let's have a look at the boot time. Uh, cluck, welcome. Oh, that's, that's reasonably fast and you can 
adjust the brightness. Is that the brightest? Okay, that's less bright. That's more bright. And <laughs> uh, yeah, um, yeah, bright enough. Bright enough. Uh, you won't adjust the brightness. I don't think so. Yeah, that's that's okay. I, I will do a review and give you all the data in another video. Um, yeah, I don't have triple A's right now or uh, handy, so yeah. Um, but there's one thing, one thing I want to test and uh, yeah, bear with me. Um, what I'm doing here basically is yeah, losing that up and see how high I can get and still get a focus. Is there some focus button on here? I mean, it can, can't be a complete autofocus. There must be some focus. Ah, uh, okay. I found the focus and I found a problem. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, the focus is by, yeah, simply turning this here. And, you know, I kind of planned uh, to, uh, let me change the perspective. So I wanted to put that higher up. Okay, 200 millimeters and then, yeah, you, you can't see it, but uh, I can still focus up here. Uh, let me fumble with that a little bit. Yeah, I managed it. Uh, so yeah, there's another fixed portion of the lens down here uh, that you can fix to the boom or however you want to call that. And I still have a lot of adjustment space left. So this is about 18 centimeters here. So you could get higher up, but not with that stand and uh, still have everything in focus. So um, yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing around with it. Uh, yeah, a review coming soon. Um, huh. Let's have a close up at the display again and play around with it a little. Yeah, the screen is actually quite huge and uh, of a reasonably good quality. So uh, yeah, about 70.5 centimeters. Uh, so yeah, seven inch, uh, you would expect that. And um, yeah, you see some line patterns here, but uh, that's just interference between that LED screen and uh, the camera lens. Uh, I don't see that here. And yeah, it's, it's reasonably fast. I mean, if I would go in here with some tool, where am I on the board? Yeah, the leg is okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already <laughs> reviewing the thing. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, so we will have a little repair video. Yeah, uh, getting the LCD <laughs> into place and uh, yeah, a detailed review and now uh, onwards to the listing. Just a quick look at the listing. So that's the Endon Star AD407 with a seven inch display. And uh, it goes currently for only 199.99. Uh, that was the main reason I bought it. So as said before, next steps, uh, yeah, tear down and repair. <laughs> Uh, who would have thought it? And uh, then, of course, uh, 
detailed review what that thing can, yeah, optical parameters, stuff, and yeah, the like. Till then, bye.